How to equip a weapon in an accessory slot. You can also do this with armor and anything equipable, really. There are no posts about how to do this or videos about how to do this. I did a pretty exhaustive search. There were people speculating on how to do it, but no one really knew. So I figured it out after research and testing, and here you go. As you can see here, I have a Mino Den Dual Uchi Gitana in my accessory slot. Why would you want to do this? Well, it's basically another accessory. You don't get the attack power added to your current equipped weapon, uh, and certain special effects don't affect you at all. For example, on here I have changed to attack skill. That's doing nothing for my overall damage. It's only affecting this Mino Dan Dual Uchi Gitana, which I'm not using to attack. I'm just using it as an accessory. But the other modifications on here are helping me. So as you could see, I had a star skill damage sign of the cross on that Mino Den Dual Uchi Gitana. I also have it on the Master Swordsman and my currently equipped dual swords. So if I come over here to my status and I scroll down on special effects, Okay, so at the bottom here you can see skill damage, sign of the cross, is 79.2%. It is adding that skill modification on my weapon accessory to my total damage for sign of the cross. So going back to my equipment, so my main weapon here has that star value, 24.4%. And then looking at the Master Swordsman set bonus, 30%. And then the Dual Luigi Katana, 24.8%. Add that all together and you can see it's adding it in my total attack. One thing you want to keep in mind is when you put a weapon or armor in your accessory slot, it actually adds more weight to your equipment. So keep that in mind when you're thinking of agility and keeping at 69.9% for faster moving. Okay, so now how do I do this? How do I equip weapons or other things that shouldn't be there in accessory slots? Well, it has to do with equipment sets. So as you can see here, I have an equipment set 5 and equipment set 6 on mine, where I've equipped these two Omaromi, Omamori charms, okay? So on equipment set 5, I'll equip that, and then I've switched them, I've inverted them. So the one on the bottom is now the one on the top. Now I'm going to equip the equipment set 6 that I have. So it just inverted them. I just went from one equipment set to the other equipment set and inverted them. But what this does is it shows on here that it's actually not equipped. So what I can do is I can drop this, I can put it into my storage, I can also sell it. I put it into my storage. So now when I go over it, nothing shows up. Okay, that's weird. Nothing is showing up. It says the name Omamori Charm, but nothing's showing up. So now what you can do is you can pick up something, you can buy something, and it will actually force it into that slot. So I'll just go here to the blacksmith, buy this Bizinden Uchi Gitana. I'm not going to equip it when I buy it. I'm going to go over here. It still says Omamori Charm, but look, it's actually equipped a weapon. Now this will refresh. It won't say Omamori Charm. So if I go into um, an area, for example, it'll refresh that and show that there's actually a weapon there. So let me go to the place where I farm soul stones. Um, here we go, Spirit Stone Huntress. All right. So I'm going to go here, I don't know, just to go here. You can go anywhere. You don't need to go to this particular place. You can go anywhere. So what I'm going to show you is I'm going to look at my accessory. Now see, it shows it actually written there. Isn't Anushin to Katana, right on my accessory slot. Now it's still not equipped weirdly in regards to dropping it or selling it, but it is equipped on there giving me the stats. So I'm going to go to the item here, the weapon, and I'm just going to drop it. Uh, where is it? Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm just gonna drop it, and I'm gonna show you. It says it there, but it doesn't show <laughs> on the right side, right? So I dropped that down. Now, anything else I pick up is gonna equip it there. But weirdly, sometimes stuff I already have, when I drop it and pick it up, it doesn't put there. But anything else, it will. And I don't understand that. Maybe someone else can figure out why that is, why sometimes it doesn't put things there and why sometimes it does. So I'll show you, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna um, kill uh, Maria. Well, not kill her, but take her down. Because I'm not into killing people. Anyway, so uh, I'm going to kill her. She'll drop an item, probably a weapon or armor. And then once I pick that up, it will put that in that accessory spot. So, oh, I have my settings, so I'm only picking up divine and above. So let me just go switch that real quick. Oh, 
Okay. So now when I pick up this bloodstained cleaver, it will put that in that spot. So see, it still says accessory one, but it's actually giving me that weapon there. Um, now if I drop the cleaver, where is it at? Oh, I think it's an Odachi. Anyways, it's right there. Okay, so when I drop this bloodstained cleaver, now the spot's open, I can pick up this armor, and now the armor's there. Voila! So many of you are probably thinking, oh man, the possibilities, what can I do here? Keep in mind, this is basically just another accessory. But the benefit being, you can manipulate and reforge the mods on the accessory, where you can't do that with typical accessories. Additionally, you can get mods that accessories don't have, like close combat damage, star sign of the cross, these types of things. So it just gives you more options for accessory. As far as equipment sets, this isn't super beneficial, and I'll show you why in a second. Once you get the weapon you want in the accessory slot, what you want to do is you want to save that equipment set. So you can always go back and get it back in there again. So I have my um, Sign of the Cross build saved on equipment set 7, so I can always just boom, it's back. Now I'm going to go to equipment set 10. I have another different weapon on, in this accessory. Now this weapon has familiarity damage bonus, A+. Plus, okay. My equipped weapon has familiarity damage bonus A. Well, that's weird. They're both there, and they usually don't stack. However, another funky thing here is damage bonuses will stack with other damage bonuses, like familiarity damage bonus, agility damage bonus, equipment weight damage bonus. These things stack. So if you look here on special effects on my status, the total comprehensive special effects from everything, it shows here familiarity damage bonus. AA minus. So it is adding those two together for that. Now you're probably better off having one of each, you know, familiarity, agility, equipment weight. I think that'll probably give you a bigger bonus, but that's something funky that happens. Stacking damage bonuses. So you can mess with that. All right, now let's look at uh, just pure damage numbers. So I'm going to go back to my Sign of the Cross build with my Mino Den here. Um, and I'm going to look at my damage, my attack. So my attack here is eight, 8694. If I were to put an accessory here that has the awesome increase attack plus value, now I have, you know, plus 130 items, so this is going to give me a huge bonus. It actually gives me plus 10 more in attack, 8704. So just looking at the attack number here, you'd think that that accessory is going to give me more damage because it has 10 more attack on the tooltip. Um, however, so I'm going to go back to my equipment set, get back on that Uchi Katana. Again, once you get something in there, save it as an equipment set so you can always get it back in there. Uh, because sometimes, like I showed you before, they don't go in. So let me show you. I'm going to uh, do two scenarios. Um, one with the weapon equipped where I have close combat damage, sign of the cross bonus, um, agility damage bonus I think is on there. So these three damage bonuses, but the attack actually shows 10 less compared to uh, putting on an accessory there that gives me that um, attack plus value. Okay, so I'm going to come over here, the, the least baddie on the least area. Um, as you can see, I have the weapon in my accessory spot with 10% less total attack. I'm going to bring the guy over, paralyze him, attack him in the back. So this gives me 200k damage because my sign of the cross is really high, among other things that increase my damage, like high plus value items. So 200k damage. So now I'm going to go back, refresh this guy. I'm going to equip in that spot the accessory that gives me the plus attack value and ultimately 10 more attack in the tooltip and see how the damage compares. Okay, so I'm going to put down paralysis just like normal, recreate the same situation but with a different accessory, bring him over and we'll see how does this compare to 200k damage? 142. 58k less damage. So it's a huge difference. So you can really up your damage by putting a weapon in an accessory slot because, not because the added um, attack value of the weapon, but because solely on the mods that you can get on weapons. All right, now let's uh, show you how equipment sets are affected 
by equipping something in an accessory slot that has an equipment set. So I'm going to go to my equipment set 10, which has a Master Swordsman equipment uh, set sword, the dual swords. So as you can see here, I have it on there, and it's not giving me any benefit. Well, I've only got one of them. So let me put on a Yasukani Magatama, so now it shows I have two of them. Okay, there you go. So it's giving me the damage reduction and the skill reduction, showing that I have two pieces, because I've got one in the accessory and a Yasukani Magatama, which makes it so I need one less, right? Okay, so now I'm going to go start equipping some... Master Swordsman's power. Okay, so great. I've got two pieces here. Well, is it because of the Yas... Oh, whoops. <laughs> I equipped the one I had an accessory. Okay, so that's another thing to know. If you equip something that you have an accessory, it's going to remove it off that accessory. Okay, you can't have two of the same item. Okay, so let me equip a different Master Swordsman sword. So here you go. We'll equip this. So now we have a Master Swordsman sword in the equipment and as an accessory. Now I have two of them here. So why is it not showing that I have to for the equipment set well because you cannot um, stack equipment sets from the accessory the only reason it's showing two pieces now is because I just put on that Yasakani Magatama now I'll put on um, the gloves so now I have three pieces but it's only showing that I have um, two pieces for Master Swordsman because that third piece in the accessory slot does not go towards that if you have things equipped in a normal weapon or armor slot. So I just put another one on pants. So I have three pieces, a sword, a shirt, and pants, plus Yasakani Magatama, so therefore four pieces. That fifth one in the accessory slot does not count towards it. It only counts if that's the only set piece in the accessory slot. So if you're using Master Swordsman, or if you're using whatever equipment set in your regular build, do not put that equipment set as an accessory if you want that accessory to add to equipment sets. So basically, you can only get a two-set piece from your accessory spot. So as you can see here, um, it's not adding, it's not adding um, master or sign of the cross bonus from the master swordsman here twice. It's not saying I have a four piece in my accessory and then I have a four piece normal. It's just a regular four piece. Hopefully that made sense. That's kind of convoluted. Here's a summary of some of the important points. One thing I did not mention is you can reforge the weapon after you put it in an accessory slot, and it will update it in there. Thanks for watching, and remember, I'm an actor, so watch me on Yellowstone. Thanks.